What's up, guys? It is JBeefs here, and welcome to another episode of the FIFA 19 Cambridge United series. So, I am looking to sell three players, because if you, and if you watched the last episode, I'll give you five seconds to go click on that, so you don't get any spoilers. My plan was to save up enough money to be able to afford a four-star, four-star scout, and then send him to Argentina to get me some players, you know, just put any on him, just buy me some players. In the final game of the group stage, all we had to do was draw. We didn't need to win, we just needed to draw the other team that was in first, and we were not able to even complete that. So I had to put all these players on the transfer list, which I wasn't planning on doing for a while. But I've had to, but now we finally have enough money to hire Kotsia. Mazipov. So that will leave us with 150k. So by the time I promote them and sell the players, it'll be too late. So we're just going to send, all we can afford is Argentina, three months, just get me players. And that'll leave us with practically no money. So we could sign a youth player. Two. Yeah, we need to get selling. I hate to say it, but I think we gotta get rid of Giovanni Brown. We have another good loan striker in on loan and Aaron Jones or Adam Jones. So I don't think we need Brown. So yeah, heading into our first game of the season, I'll be playing this. If you guys don't know, I play one game every month. This is how the team is lining up. We got Mitov in goal. We got Taylor, Taft, center backs, Halliday, right back, Carroll, left back. We got Deegan, defensive mid, Maris, center mid, Lamb and Amu on the wings, and Brown and Hepburn Murphy as our strikers. So let's just get into the game. Oh yeah. Goal news. Yeah, just put everyone on. Why not? Let's go. Alright, gotta do a little bit of passing. Just gotta warm up a little bit. It's been a really, really long time since I uh, played this game. So I will be bad. But, again, hopefully as the team progresses, I will also progress. But that is pretty much how it goes with all of these old retro games. Yeah, yeah we already know their striker, Tom Pope, is going to score. I'd say two goals they shouldn't score. But since he is Tom Pope on FIFA 19 League 2, anyone who has ever played this game, done League 2 Road to Glories, knows you're... Tom Pope will score against your club. Oh, good shot from David Amu, who, later in real life, ends up signing for Port Vale. Alright, whipping in with Maris. Can't find the head of Amu. Deegan gets the ball, but he loses it right away. I'll say that was pretty tough to do. Good tackle from Taft. Alright, let's just settle back into things. Interception from Amu. Ball played into Brown. Does not have the pacing cut back, though. He's got the ability to dribble. On the lamb. Find Maris. Out to a moo. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Put it through to Halliday. Whip that in. Brown. Ooh, good save from the keeper. But the pressure is on. Brown whips it in. No one can get ahead to it. Taylor, find Maris. Find Maris. Let them turn real quick. Alright. This is good. This is good. Tenth minute, and we've already had three pretty solid chances. Oh, that was not supposed to go there, Lamb. 
Halliday is going to be able to calmly collect that and play it into ta Taylor. Oh, or Taft. Works for me. Yeah, just ping it in behind. Didn't work that time, but it's okay. I mean, really, we only need one of those through balls to slip in behind, and that's game changer. I am playing the first game this month. Probably not the most important game. But it's nice to uh, start your start your time off with a win. Pepper Murphy into Lamb. Does he have the pace? He does not, but he has options in the box. Lamb. Oh, Brown. He's too short. Oh, Mears, get there. What? Why the stoppage? Was Brown even off sides? Giovanni. My man. I don't, I don't feel so bad about potentially selling you anymore. We're not even a full-time striker at Colchester United right now. Oh, that was a bad pass. I think that was the right idea. I think that was just a really poor pass. Yes, Taft, you need to stay on Pope. You're the only tall player... You're kidding. Dude, you're joking. After all the stuff that we've done, the amount of chances that we've had, they got one lucky bounce off a cross. So their left back isn't good enough to understand how to mark. And they get a goal. Fantastic. Gary. Has to be a better ball. Come on, Taylor. You, can, you got the pace. You got the pace. No, he doesn't. Why do all my players seem like they're slower than their stick? pace indicates or is it just because this team is slow good job Mitov Carol oh my I forgot how bad you were I should not have sold dunk or loaned out dunk should I have him playing left back Alright, out for a corner. Bro, Taylor, you're center back and you lose that near an aerial duel without even attempting to jump. Because you're five foot eleven, I think. Buy enough money. I would have stuck you out of left back. Then I have no other center back. Because I have no money. Get a youth academy started. Because we couldn't win one stupid game. Alright, let's go quick. Oh my, I, there's so much more of a skill gap now between the bad players, good players, and FIFA 19. Like, I've literally had Barcelona-esque plays using current day Cambridge United. FIFA 21 teams that are same overall. Even a harder difficulty. Dude! 
it has to be a better ball. Not the first one, that was perfect. The second one. Let's be honest, no one's scoring from that angle. Definitely not anyone down in League Two. Keep it come out. Good. Big touches. Giovanni. Wow. So there's still definitely a lot for us to improve on. Also, it would be nice to score a goal. That seems to be a pretty uh, rare occurrence these days. But then again, we don't really have... We have a fake... We have a attacking mid playing at striker. Giovanni Brown into Hepburn Murphy. Can't get any header to fall to him. Lamb can. Uh, what? Brown. We are going to have issues. Someone go to the ball. It's just sitting there. You got do you guys want to win? I guess not. Sixtieth minute I'm making a change. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm making a change. Yes, finally someone who's a little bit of speed. Dude, how is everyone on... Is this team just inc incredibly slow? Or is everyone just on Portville incredibly fast? Me tough catch the ball, dude. And defense, you gotta clear that out. Two headers in her box off of one cross. It's got to be better. Free header. There we go. Read that. Like a book. Oh, okay, lamb. I'm sell I'm selling lamb. Lamb has to go. Switch me onto Deegan. Alright, move. Just keep it calm and collected. Okay, Lamb is coming off. I'm starting to remember why I never played him. Because he's so bad. Lamb is horrendous. There's not one redeeming quality about Lamb. And I'm so glad the club sold him. Substitution for Cambridge United. 
coming off the pitch, number 19, Reggie Lamb. To be replaced by... Well, I'm going to score two goals and then it lands comes off. Jones. A, because Brown is no longer in charge of scoring goals. And B, because Lamb is off the pitch. So it would help if we could win a ball in the air for once. Win a second ball. We did not do enough of that. Like I said, we need to win the ball in the air if we're going to have any chance of winning. You have to win that ball. There's two people right there. There's two of you. Neither of you win that ball. Honestly, disgraceful. Like, I can't even... I, I don't even want to cross that, because I know it's just going to end up right in the keeper's hands. Or we're just going to lose the ball in the air. Burn pace, dude. Use a little bit of your pace for once because everyone on this team slow. Do I have sliders on? This game is over. Dude, like, I don't understand. There's no pace in this team. We're not... We're just not doing anything. I'm in serious before it even starts, before I slam my head against the wall. Like, what is Jones doing? If he doesn't, for no reason, dive for a header that's 10 feet away from him, that falls right at his feet and he scores. It's a, it's a mockery. It's actually embarrassing. Go to the squad hub. I want to sell Lamb. Get him out of my club. He is a disgrace to the club. Disgrace to the club. Get him out. I'm embarrassed to ever have even had it. him play here.
and I'm not selling a move. All right, I got a little bit more money now. Still, I don't think enough to do what I want to do with the Youth Academy. Lost in Knox County. Mitov is improving. I could really care less about this game. If I'm being fully honest. I'll maybe care about the FA Cup games, but I don't even know if I'll care about that because I don't think we'll even perform well in those. Alright, hopefully Ibrahim could bring us uh, some passion. Oh, they're offering quite the large amount, but I don't want to stretch them. 900k is the min. Give me more than that and he's yours. That could potentially, that's another, that's an entire another scouting trip. And 900k is my floor. Alright, yeah, we're simming this game. I'm not, I'm not playing any more games the rest of this month. Yep, we lost. Shocker. But Luton are in the championship right now, so... Pretty uh, expected that result was. One one draw against Northampton, not bad. Alright, training. Maris Mitov Brown. Mitov is progressing quite well. His potential is only seventy though, but he's he's pretty much already there. Alright, Carol's gonna be leaving. Brown will looks like will also be leaving. Hey, at least we're not last. Our darling sold O'Neill's, yep. Again, auto replace. One one draw. Hey, you're still not bottom of the league yet. Giovanni Brown was sold. Carroll was sold. Okay, 1.4 mil. Maris, no. I just want... I want a 3-star, three 3-star three scout. I think that'll be good. Scout to have. Let's go a nice 1 0 win. Yep, Brown is now gone. So let me check who is next for potential.
Yeah, let's get Maris' shooting up. Because I think... I'm potentially thinking about switching to like a 4-2-3-1. Now that, you know, some of our players are gone and the team looks a little different. Maybe looking to maybe switch to that. So Maris might end up playing a little bit more forward than normal. So we might, again, might have to work on that shooting a little bit. Colson, you're going to be replacing Carol. I don't know what... Who else did you think was going to go there? We have two subs. And one of them is like a 50-year-old goalkeeper. Press coppers, I know, I know. I'm not selling any more players. I don't even think I can afford to. I think with the injuries, I think sell one more player. I don't actually have a team anymore. Actually, when do, when does our Youth Academy Scout come back? When does, when does he come back? Comes back the third, okay. So yeah, that, well, that will be tolerable. We've sold 1.8 million worth of players. And bought zero. Because I can't afford any players right now. Maris only for 880k. I'd have to. I'd probably put him at 1.3 mil. I'm sorry, but he's going to end up having to carry this team. Alright, I'm not going to be progressing any further, but I will go ahead and I'll, I'll fix the team. So again, we're going to switch to that 4 2 3 1. Jones will be our striker. Maris will be moving into that attacking mid spot. And O'Neill will be playing on their defensive mid. Don't really have any subs, which will likely be an issue, but. Saw from the last game, we could see the three goals, so... I mean, we played one game, could see the three goals. We need to work on our defense a little bit. But yeah, guys, that is going to end this episode of the Cambridge United FIFA 19 Career Bud Series. Um, yeah, I mean, disappointing episode, but at least we got our uh, Youth Academy started a little bit. Got a little bit of extra leftover money to sign those players with. Again, I want to get a three-star, three-star scout to accompany that scout, but unfortunately... Oh, wait. All right, so he's going to go to Brazil for three months. So, like I was saying, we got the Youth Academy started. We still got some money left over to make some deals. See, that's what happens. If you don't watch the end of the episode, you're so confused what happens in the next one. But yeah, I hope you guys all have enjoyed. I hope to see you all in the future. And it is J. Biebs signing off.